Metas come and go, but one thing remains constant. If you want an accurate best guns list for the season, you check out Signu on YouTube. And in similar fashion, let's see which gun stands above the rest this season and what is the number one best gun right now. At top 6 we have Holger 26. This gun gets a mention cause it is the best overall LMG there is and still has utility in our current meta. Builds haven't changed much and use this build which is recommended by our Gunsmith Elves research team as well as Team Sickness. At number 5 we have PPSH. It is simply the best aggressive full auto weapon there is. It can be made to have insane mobility else we have really good hip fire and has option for 65 bullets with great lethality at range if we can control the recall. Recall is an issue why people use it for close range where enemies are larger and recall is easy to manage. For gunsmith builds, this is the aggressive build but I personally use the base mag and more builds can be found in this video, link in description. If not BPSH, then Fennec gets a mention simply for being an alternative to BPSH. It is also an aggressive weapon and one thing which sets the Fennec apart from BPSH is the recall. The recall is easier on Fennec, why people prefer to use this over the BPSH. Nonetheless, for build, try this and if recall isn't an issue then just go full aggro. By the way, don't forget to leave a like and comment something nice to help support the video. At number 4 we have M13. M13 has been really good for a couple of seasons now and constantly gets mentioned in top 5 lists. M13 is an easy to use gun which is used for flexible playstyle, something we can use for playing aggressive as well as ranged simultaneously. Builds have not changed much except for using disable now. I use this build which is mainly for playing aggressive else use this with the 60 mag. Do check out our discord server where gun Smith Elves will reveal the best M13 build with stats very soon, so stay tuned for it. At number 3 is our trusted SKS. It is the best semi-auto and has been best for a couple of seasons now. I use this build personally but feel free to change attachments to your preference. If not the SKS then we have SVD which is another semi-auto which has potential for one shot kill and consistent two shot kill at all ranges. I use this build but feel free to change attachments to your preference. By the way, don't forget to share this video to your discord, instagram and other social media to help spread this information in our community. Coming to top 2 we have CBR4. CBR was the contender for the best overall weapon for the past 2 seasons and even now it continues to be one of the best. It is a versatile weapon and can be used for playing both close range to longer ranges and people use CBR over the top 25 in the previous season. So you can understand how statistically viable this weapon is to rank this high on the list. I personally use this build but there's also this build for better recall and for more gunsmith builds check out this video link in description and finally coming to number one best gun it is kilo 141 as covered in my kilo vs m13 video kilo has insane stats on it and the only reason it wasn't top 5 last season was due to the recall which was hard to manage and beam with this season recall got buffed and the only problem it had got resolved and kilo shines over everyone else like a bride on her her wedding. Apart from stats, gunsmith builds on it are also pretty versatile and we have this for the aggressive build which can play both close range to longer ranges or this if you want more range, this if you want better recall and many more good gunsmith builds are available which I covered here. Keep calm and abuse the killer cause it is simply the best gun the season has to offer. The list has been developed with the help of my discord members and team Cygnus research team and for more gunsmith builds and weapon stats join our discord server link in description. Kilo is good and all but we have two guns which recently got buffed and are insane right now. At number 0 we have the Russ and the AK-117. 117 has been meta since the OG season 1 and the base range got buffed this season which makes the gun insane to use and use this build for it. Russ is the SMG version of 117 with higher mobility and the base range got buffed on Russ to 
making the gun overpowered and use this best build for it. And some people might ask, hey Signal, why is Tap25 not on the list? Don't get me wrong, Tap25 is still good as I had mentioned on my Twitter here, which by the way, you should follow for fastest news and stats etc. But issue is, M13 plays the flex role better now and Kilo plays the main AR role better. And CBR4 is a better Tap25 either way. Holger is the best LMG and still can go head to head against the other guns while it still has utility in the meta and PPSH or SKS in their niche will defeat the current Tap25. So Tap25 may be good but it either loses out in terms of stats or in terms of utility to the other guns I mentioned earlier. Why it isn't included in this list? Rest assured Tap25 is still a top 10 gun and the nerf just kicked it out of the top 5. Anyway comment your best guns list in the comment section and let's compare the differences in our gun choices. And leave a like and share the video on your discord, twitter and social media. Until next time, take care guys and bye.